Hello, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to another edition of Oz Mining YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do a very quick overview and tutorial how to update your firmware on a gold shell mini box miner. The one I'm going to be doing today is specifically the KD Box Pro, but this will work for your mini doge miners and even the light and the pro miners. Now, one question you may be asking, who the hell is still mining Kadena with all the big ASICs out there now? Now, it's a good question, and look, for me, this time of year now in Australia is getting very cold, and I'm actually using these to heat one of the properties, and, you know, by offsetting uh, the power that we would be using on a normal oil heater, for example, which can be 12 to 2,400 watts uh, per hour running these two Kadena box miners around 500 watts an hour I am able to heat this property and at a much lower cost than what I would be doing if I was using a traditional heating system and at the same time I am earning crypto so this for me is a profitable way to mine Kadena right now and you know I definitely recommend you know anyone that has got a, I guess a setup that allows them to use a couple of miners around the house safely uh, it's definitely a good way to go to I guess arbitrage some of your uh, power cost um, to try and heat houses uh, wherever you live uh, through the winter colder periods probably going to turn these off over summer but for now Let's get these babies on and let me show you how to do a firmware update on these box miners. Coming back really soon. Okay everyone, welcome back to my desktop. We're now going and we will do the software update. So the first thing that we want to do, we want to go to the official Gold Shell website. And again, always make sure it is the official website. What I do, look, I, I know what it looks like now. It is just goldshell.com, nothing fancy. And I always look for that little lock in the top left hand corner. So on the website, let's go across to support. In support, click the extensions link and in the extensions link you'll see there is a section called firmware how to upgrade your firmware and like, i will say gold have really improved their website over the years there's a lot more information a lot more links um you know it's help if you need it so you know good job gold Shell. you know probably compared to maybe two two and a half years ago when i started uh buying and uh using gold Shell products they've they've definitely come a long way so well done so click on the firmware upgrade link and it gives you like a little overview how to upgrade firmware. So just go through the steps. Unlock your miner. Visit the system page or, or tab in the um, in the miner screen, and then you can go to the section that says update your your firmware, and and that's basically it. So down below here there is a section where you can download your latest firmware. So just click on this uh, GitHub link. And this will just take you through to all the firmware upgrades for uh, the Gold Shell products and miners. And don't read the, I guess, the description so much. Look for the actual, on the left-hand side, of the, the name of the mine you're going to be updating. And what you want to look for is the KD Box Pro. Now, actually, what I'll just go back and do, uh, so another step is we want to find our miner. So again, there's another tool here. We can go to find your miner. And assuming you're on the same, um, uh, like, like internet, uh, in your local uh, area, house, uh, workshop, or if you're not, you need to get onto the same, uh, like, IP and uh, internet as as your uh, miner is linked to, and then you'll see your miners. Now, I've got two KD Box Pros. One, I have already updated the firmware. That's the latest 2.25, and you'll see this one here. We have the 2.24 software, and what you'll see here is just those tabs that it talked through a minute ago so what we do now now that we found a miner and we know the one that we're going to update so the one with uh, 2.24 we'll go back to github and we will download the 2.25 there you go KD Box pro 2.25 so let's download that uh actually so click the link 24 megabyte file we're now downloaded so it's not a massive file it's quite a light file to be honest and then you'll see that will just download that to your local device for then uploading onto the gold shell miner. So what we do now, we'll go across to the miner, the older 2.24 software. We'll go down through the side tabs there, down to system. And then we'll go to the section called update. Now our miner is unlocked. Again, if you don't, if, if your miner's locked, just go here 
type in the password this is not actually the recommended um, thing to do you should probably put your own or I, I say you actually should put your own trickier password there so um, people can't access your miner without your permission and potentially divert your mining uh, rewards to their own wallet so let's unlock that now Again, look, you see here Google's actually saying, you know, this is in data breach, it's not a very good password. So, um, fair call, Google. Uh, and then we'll go through here to the firmware version. You want to go and find your firmware. So, here you go 2.25. I've actually got the older one there as well, 2.24. So, 2.25. Click on that and open it up. So, that will bring the file through to the miner. You then want to click update. So, let's click update now. And as it says there, it takes a minute to upgrade the miner. Please do not shut down during the upgrade process. So really, it should sit back now and wait for that file to load up and get us the latest version of the firmware onto our miner. Yeah, one thing I think it'd be really good if uh, Gold Show did it on some maybe some of the older miners is just give some different power plans. So just full hash rate mode here on the KD Box Pro. On some of the new ones now, they have the efficiency mode and also the low or balance mode as well. So uh, I think that would be a good, I guess, update for some of the older models. It might just improve some of the efficiency, the hash rate going crazy, particularly with Cadena and the price of electricity. Those options I think would be good. So so let's just go back to. So it looks like the uh, upload is finished. So that that upload um, bar there has gone now so the update uh, should have finished and brilliant look at that firmware version 2.25 we have completed the firmware version upgrade and we are now on the latest software great job and you know as you see that's pretty easy to do it's it's a few minute job and definitely worth um, updating your miners putting the la latest software for your uh, mini um, dogecoin box miners kd miners whether it's a you know it might be a um, lt Lite or a kd pro the process is, is actually exactly the same for all of your gold shell products so just to wrap up now let's lock our miner up again so it's secure and then if we just go through to the find my gold shell miner if we refresh that you see there, look, it's two minutes ago, it's updated. So that's just the miner taking the software, restarting. And if we just go back to it now, we'll see there that the hash rate will be building up to almost 2.6. And in a few minutes, we'll start to see the, the chart there start to creep up. So, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful. I'd love to see some comments down below. Uh, likes and subscribes, I'd really, really appreciate that. So thanks for watching, and let's carry on mining.